this is continuous time Marco chain. I am planning for uh, 6 to 8 lectures uh, in this model and I am going to start the lecture 1 with the definition of uh, continuous time Marco chain, then the derivation of uh, Kolmogorov differential equations and I am going to give uh, some simple examples uh, for the continuous time Marco chain and also I am planning to give the stationary and the limiting distributions of continuous time Marco chain in this lecture. Let me start with the definition, definition of continuous time Marco chain. A discrete state continuous time that means the state space is discrete that means uh, the possible values of uh, the random variable going to take the value for possible values of parameter space that is going to be finite or countably infinite therefore the state space is going to be called it as a discrete continuous time means uh, the parameter space or the possible values of the t that collection is a uh, uncountably infinite therefore it is called a continuous time that means a parameter space is continuous so a discrete state continuous time stochastic process x of t for t greater than or equal to 0 need not be t greater than or equal to 0 also but here i am making the very simplest one so the x of t for fixed t it's a random variable for every t that collection that is going to be a stochastic process and the state space is discrete and parameter space is continuous and that stochastic process is going to be call it as a continuous time Marco chain if it satisfies the following condition. If you take n time points arbitrary time points n plus 1 time points that is a t naught to t n you can say that t naught can be 0 also and with this uh, inequality t naught less than t 1 less than t 2 and so on t n and you take the any arbitrary t that is a t n less than t with this inequality. For fixed t that x of t is going to be a random variable therefore now we are going to find out the conditional distribution for this n plus 1 random variable with uh, the random variable x of t that means uh, at t naught you have a x of t naught that is a random variable at t1 x of t1 is a random variable similarly at t n x of t n is a random variable you have n plus 1 random variable with this n random variable given that means it takes already some values with x naught x1 xn so on respectively and you are finding the conditional cdf for the random variable x of t so that means you have a n plus 2 random variables taken at the arbitrary time points t naught to t n as well as small t and you are finding the conditional cdf of the random variable x of t given that already the other n plus 1 random variables taken at those arbitrary time points it taken the value x naught x1 and so on till x n it is taken already these values that conditional distribution conditional cdf if that is same as again it is a conditional cdf of x of t given the last random variable x of t n is equal to x n so these n plus 1 time points are arbitrary time points so if it satisfies for all n for every n that means uh, the conditional distribution of uh, n plus 1 random variable is same as the conditional distribution of the last random variable if this property is satisfied by the discrete state continuous time stochastic process for arbitrary time points then that stochastic process is called a continuous time Marco chain this is a very important concept this is called a Marco property that means uh, the the t is a sort of a future so what is the probability that the random variable will be in some state at the future time point t given that 
you know the present state that is uh, where the system is in time point Tn that is small xn and I know the past information starting from x of t0 till x of Tn minus 1 I know the information that means uh, what is the probability that uh, future the random variable x of t will be in some state given that it was in the states x0 at time point t0 it was in the state x1 at the time point t1 and so on latest at the time point tn the system was in the state xn that is same as what is the probability that the future the random variable will be in some state at time point t given that it is now in the state xn at the time point tn that means the future given present as well as the past information is same as future given only the present which is and independent of the past information that is called the memoryless property or Marco property. So, since this property is satisfied by the stochastic process which has the state space is a discrete and the parameter space is continuous then that stochastic process is called a continuous time Marco chain. So, this is the definition now we are going to give some more properties over the continuous time Marco chain and uh, some simple examples as well as the I am going to explain the limiting distribution and the stationary distribution for continuous time Marco chain in this lecture. Let me show the sample path over the time t that is x axis the y axis is x of t. So, the system was in some state at time point 0, it was in the same state for some time, then it moved into the some other state, then it was there in that state for some time, then it moved into some other state and so on. If you see the sample path, the following observation, the system can stay in some state for some amount of time after that it will move to the some, some state. So, there is no equal interval of a system going to be in some state also it can be some positive amount of time the system can be in the some discrete states. So, here the observations are the state space is discrete whereas the, the parameter space is continuous and the time spent in each state that is going to be a some positive amount of time before moving into any other states. So, this is the observation in the sample path which I have drawn. Now, I am going for few notations to study or to study the behavior of a continuous time Marco chain. Whenever the Marco chain that means uh, here it is a continuous time Marco chain it is a time homogeneous then the conditional probability of system being in the state j at time point t plus capital T given that the capital T it was in the state i that does not depend on capital T. Here we assume that the state changes from i to j at a future time point t plus capital T. This uh, transition probability says the system was in the state i at the time point uh, t let me draw the simple uh, diagram. The system was in the state uh, i at the capital T then what is the probability that the system will be in the state j what is the probability that the system will be in the state j at the time point t plus t it is independent of a capital t whenever the marco chain is going to be a time homogeneous for any t greater than or equal to 0 that means uh, the actual time does not matter only the length matters the length of the transition time 
that means the small t is matters not the capital T whenever it is a time homogeneous that is that we can denote it as a p i j of t because it depends on only the interval not the actual time therefore it is a, a function of small t p i j of t that means uh, that is a transition probability in the system. So, the same thing can be written as the p i j of t this is a notation what is the transition probability that the system was what is the probability that the system will be in the state j given that it was in the state i at time 0. Since it is valid for any interval of t to t plus t it is independent of capital T therefore, I can represent this transition probability as a probability that the system in the state j at time t given that it was in the state i at time 0 this denoted by p i j of t. So, this notation we should remember it is a transition probability with the suffix two letters i comma j of t. This also call it as a stationary transition probability stationary means it is a time invariant only the length of the interval is matters. Similarly, I am denoting the next notation pi j of t the p j of t is a conditional probability whereas, uh, the pi j of t that is a unconditional one what is the probability that the system will be in the state j at time t. There is a possibility system would have been uh, coming to the state j before time t for uh, at time 0 itself or it would have come before just before t whatever it is this probability will give the interpretation what is the probability that the system will be in the state j at time t only it gives the information at the time t this is a unconditional probability. I need a another notation for a initial state probability vector also that is a pi naught pi naught is a vector which consists of entities what is the probability that the system was in the state 0 at time 0 therefore this i can write it as pi j of 0 that is nothing but what is the probability that the system was in a state j at time 0. So, this is the meaning of pi j of 0 what is the probability that the system will be in the state uh, sorry the system was in the state uh, j at time 0 that is pi j of 0 like with these entities you are framing the vector that is pi naught. So, in this uh, we are giving a uh, three notations one is the transition probability p i j of t that is a conditional probability the other one is unconditional probability that is pi j of t and uh, initial state probability vector pi naught. Using this I am trying to find out what is the distribution of x of t for any time t for any time t x of t will form make a stochastic process here it is a continuous time Markov chain the default one is a time homogeneous a continuous time Markov chain and our interest is to find out what is the distribution of the random variable x of t. It has the probability mass function that is pi j of t and if you make a summation over s where s is a state space that summation is going to be 1. If I know the initial prob initial state probability vector with the entities pi i of 0 as well as uh, if I know the transition probability of system moving from the state i to j from 0 to small t I can able to find out what is the probability mass function of system being in the state j at time t that is a pi j of t that is same as probability that x of t is equal to j that is same as a, I can make a summation I can make a conditional what is the probability that the system will be in the state j at time t given that it was in the state i multiplied by 
what is the probability that a system was in the state i at time 0 for all possible values of i where s is big s is nothing but the state space i know that a pi sorry i know that the probability of a x of 0 is equal to i that is same as pi i of 0 and this transition probability since the Marco chain is a time homogeneous so 0 to t that is nothing but a 0 to 0 is the time point and t is a any time point and i is the state in which the system was in the state uh, in the at time 0. So, p i j of t if I multiply pi i of 0 p i j of t for all possible values of i, I will get the probability that the system will be in the state j at time t. That means, if you want to find out the distribution of x of t for any time t, I need a initial state probability vector as well as a, the transition probability of system moving from one state to other state, other states. This is given usually the initial probable, initial state probability vector is given. So, what do we want to find out is p i j of t. So, how to find the p i j of t that derivation I am going to do it in the another 2-3 slides.